Hello study partners. So when I asked you what would you want to see next, the only answer I got from most of you were problems, problems and problems. So I actually realized that secondary attack rate discussion was a long overdue. We'll do, we'll do it today. So after this, let me know what you would want to see next. So let's get on to the definition. Okay, secondary attack rate. So for those of you who are new, who are joining us new for the discussion, I have made a video previously on what is communicability, infectivity, virulence and pathogenicity. I really recommend you to watch this video and join back. I think that will give you a good continuity. So after now you know what are these four definitions, right? So secondary attack rate is like in an area, one particular person has got a disease. How many people develop disease from this guy? So obviously it's a communicable disease. Within one incubation period is your secondary attack rate. So when we go to the definition, I think it's focused. Yeah. Secondary attack rate is number of persons developing the disease from the primary case within one incubation period. Okay, that's it. So that's quite simple, I guess. So there is a you write secondary attack rate in this formula. So how many new cases have been developed from that primary case in one incubation period divided by number of susceptibles. So let's see there are some uh, um, 100 persons in one particular area. Few of them were vaccinated. So even if the primary case came in that area, it could not affect the vaccinated persons. So, out of the remaining persons who were not vaccinated, how many people, so okay, out of the remaining people who are not vaccinated will become susceptible to infection, right? So, among those, how many people developed the infection within one incubation period? So, like how much this agent can spread fast in one incubation period is known as secondary attack rate. Why do you have to know this? It's obviously relevant only for acute diseases or uh, communicable diseases. And this is basically a measure of communicability. Generally, you do this because infectivity or pathogenicity is not very concerned with the secondary attack rate. Yes, the disease might have high, higher virulence, but secondary attack rate does not tell you the virulence because for virulence to occur, what is virulence? Ability to cause severe disease. It will take slight time. It has to cross communicability. It has to cross infectivity, pathogenicity and come to virulence. So we try to catch something at the stage of communicability itself. So secondary attack rate really, really helps us. So secondary attack rate, please remember, is a measure of communicability again for those who haven't watched my previous video for their sake any disease gets communicable first later becomes infective later it it enters the pathogenesis phase phase lastly the virulence okay for further details please go go back and watch the video you will get more orientation okay the only thing this has become relevant is generally nobody is asking you the definition they are asking you to calculate the secondary attack rate so i've come i've i thought i'll discuss one example problem okay this this area has 100 less than 5 children okay so the and 60% of the children were vaccinated for measles. So coverage by coverage for measles vaccination was 60%. Okay, so that means 60% got vaccinated, 40% are not vaccinated. Okay, that is in this case, it's as simple, 40 children are not vaccinated. Okay, done. Next. Okay, so what, what happens? One child develops measles. So where do you, which percent of the population do you think will, this child belongs to? Obviously the susceptible population or obviously the group which did not receive vaccination. So one child from this 40% group developed measles. Okay, so next within 10 days, that is within the next incubation period, 
ट्वेंटी सिक्स मोर चिलड्रन डेवलप्ड मीजल्स ओके नौ क्यालक्युलेट द सैकेंडरी अटैक रेट नौ वाट इस सैकेंडरी अटैक रेट टू गो बैक टू द डेफिनेशन नंबर ऑफ न्यू केसस् वि वन इनकुबेशन पीरियड डिवेडेड बै नंबर ऑफ ससेप्टबल ओके नौ नंबर ऑफ न्यू केसस् within one incubation period so all are within one incubation period so this numerator should be simple so number of new cases within one incubation period is 26 okay that should be simple now calculate the number of susceptibles this please pay attention here this is where most of you will go wrong it number of susceptibles most of you will generally tend to write 40 because these 40 are not vaccinated right but among the susceptibles you should always subtract the primary case right because once the child has already developed it becomes 40 minus 1 so one child to 39 children so these this becomes the susceptible so you have to see that this child infected how many out of 39 okay is it clear now i think this is a little bit sim i try to simplify this a little bit if not watch again the video i don't want to lengthen the video unnecessarily so so total number of susceptibles become 39 okay there's into 100 so this is somewhere i think 66% okay now i want to add a little bit twist to this question so that you get your concepts solid and clear now what happens in the same area if there's no measles vaccination like let's say this 60% measles vaccination was not there same everything else is same there are 100 children but just that measles vaccination is not there so out of 100 children one child develops measles later 26 children develop within the same incubation period now pause the video calculate and come back to me and see if your answer is right so number of uh, number of cases from the susceptible children so number of persons who developed the disease in the primary incubation period is your numerator so that will be again 26 okay so number of susceptibles will become 100 because nobody got vaccinated correct so number of susceptibles became 100 but among this one child already developed measles so secondary attack rate is how much one child is able to infect 99 children so this one child could infect 26 children out of 99 so for percentage we make it into 100 26 by 99 is like some you know 25 by 100 something like 25 26 percent i guess so around this should be your answer so i, I hope this concept is clear so thank you for letting me know what you would want don't forget to leave your comments below like the video and also subscribe to the channel for new updates and yeah my new this video was a little bit delayed i'm so sorry but i'll keep up to the schedule uh, from next time onwards so keep studying um, and for those who don't know may aims has been announced and may jipmer has been announced and there are no centers in bangalore for may aims at least jipmer seats in bangalore are getting filled up i mean the centers seats so i really really want you to take up all the exams and give your best shot so at least you will get an experience I'll tell you one thing most of you will think that you're not prepared enough for may aims or may jipmer and you will not give the exam the competition will be very less and the seats are also very less I'll tell you one thing nobody ever thinks that I'm well prepared now acha sab padhai ho gaya sab subjects khatam kar li maine ab to ja ke agar main exam dungi to mujhe 100% first rank hi milega that is never gonna happen seriously that's never gonna happen you will never know when you will be prepared you will never know when you will be done i really really want you to give give it a try if it is really out of your town or if you are really too far and if you can't go to that particular place then maybe it's okay but still i really want you to give it a try as of now don't think that you are wasting money or anything at least when it comes to exams maybe when it comes to too many guide books you might be you might reduce maybe i should not be telling this you can use the electronic version of harrisons so i think that way you can help a little bit but i really really don't want you to skip any of the exams please go it 
go and do well i'll tell you why because i'm there with you so you're really really gonna do well and don't forget to leave your ranks and comments and please text me for any helps you want so until then keep studying stay positive so this is your study partner signing off